So my name is Brooke Gardner and I'm a graduate student at UCSF and I'm here at the Marine Mammal Center in the Marid Headlands talking to Ketusha Brates, um, who is a staff scientist at Berkeley and HHMI. First, can you tell us a little bit about um, yourself and your work at Berkeley? My background is structural biology and biochemistry and currently I work in the laboratory of Professor Barbara Meyer. Um, whose lab is interested in dosage composition and um, uh, sex determination of C. elegans. And how did you become involved in volunteering at the Mammal Center? When I moved to the Bay Area from Europe back in 2001, I was thinking of volunteering at the nonprofit organization that involves work with the animals. So I was looking around and came upon notice on the Marine Mammal Center, got interested, attended their orientation and decided to join. So starting from September 2002, I've been volunteering at the center. Can you tell us what you do as a volunteer? I'm part of the um, group of the volunteers that volunteers on the West Wednesday night crew um, uh, at the Marine Mammal Center. And we involved um, in the husbandry part. So that means we are taking care of the animals um, while they are here at the center. Can you tell us about what the mission of the center is? The mission of the center is the rescuing and rehabilitation of the marine mammals. The center is also doing the scientific research and uh, as well as doing the education of, uh, of public about the marine mammals, uh, their health and the health of their environment, ocean. Can you tell us what types of animals are represented here? Marine Mammal Center rehabilitates uh, um, California sea lions, harbor seals, fur seals, sea otters, um, dolphins, and there are also cases of whales. And do you want to describe to us what you do on a shift? Our shift starts with preparing of the food for the animals and depending on the uh, time of the season, we would either prepare, either prepare uh, the formulas which are made from, from salmon oil and milk powder or, or the food would be uh, fish, typically herring. So depending what stage the animals are, we would feed them appropriately. Then we would feed the animals at a particular time point, so that means our feeding times are at 8 o'clock and at midnight. If animals need to require some medication, that would be also taken care of. Afterwards, we, have to, we feed the animals, um, we uh, observe the animals that everything went fine, we have to clean the pens, we have to sanitize the pens, make sure that the, uh, that the pens are clean. We would have to clean all our dishes and utensils, record all the uh, um, observations and make sure that we have followed all the recommendations from the vet staff. And so basically that we repeat at 8 o'clock and at midnight and we finish the, the crew. How does the center identify seals that need rescuing and how do these animals come to you? If the general public finds an animal that's alone on the beach or in the places where it's not supposed to be, like on the street, close to the humans, then people would call Marine Mammal Center or notify other agency and it would get in touch with the Marine Mammal Center who would then send uh, volunteers to uh, collect the animal and bring it, bring it to the center. There are also cases where uh, animals are entangled in the nets or in some kind of marine debris, debris, debris and they would be on, also rescued in the water. So there are different ways how the animals are found. Can you tell us how you train these pups to uh, fend for themselves in the wild? We are trying to minimize uh, contact with the animals as much as possible so that the animals don't get dependent on the humans. So that means uh, we would not talk while in presence of, of the animal. We would uh, handle the animal as quickly as possible during the feeding time. Um, we would stay away from the fence um, and we would try to avoid that the animals associate food with the humans. So that means in the case of the uh, California sea lions, we try not to, for example, have a hand, have a fish in a hand and showing it to the, to the seal because California sea lions are extremely smart animals and they can make that connection. So 
we're trying to keep them as wild as possible during the time they're at the center. How long are they usually at the center? Harbor seals, depending on, on uh, their condition, whether they're sick, whether they have an infection or whether they're just being separated from their mothers, they can stay at the center and depending on their progress, how well they, they, um, they gain weight and they learn to, to, to feed, they can stay at the center between two to three months. Where do you release them? The release of the animals happens at the, at the remote beaches where there is not much of a, a human uh, traffic and usually they're released in a group um, of two to three animals depending on how many animals are ready to be released at that given time. Do they each get names? Each of them gets a name. Um, they're named by the rescue volunteer group. Um, and they are very uh, creative with their names. And um, each of the animals has their own personalities as well. So it's very easy for some animals to be recognized uh, every week when they come back, see, see them and recognize them. How many animals are usually here at one time? On average years, we would have up to 35 animals on site. But there were a couple of years where we had almost 70 animals. Do you see any parallels between working in lab and working with the harbor seals? No, none. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, let me rephrase that. With the worms or with bacteria, it doesn't matter, right? You know, yeah, you repeat the experiment, bad, bad. I mean, bad, but it's no big deal. Right? Here, if when you put a tube into the animal, you really want to make sure that you're in the right spot and that you're not harming the animal because it would be devastating to have to lose an animal due to a mistake, human mistake. So when you have a long day at, in the lab, this is completely different afterwards? Oh yeah. yeah. Do you think it helps to have something that's separate? Yes. It puts everything into perspective and it um, gets you out of the lab, do something else, and you meet new people from different walks of life. And uh, we, we have been now, most of our crew, almost eight years together. So we, we work well as a team. So you get to learn how to work with other people with the different backgrounds. What's your favorite part of volunteering? Depending on the time of the season, there are different things. Being out, outdoors, because this is a really beautiful spot where the Marine Mammal Center is located. Working with the animals and having seen them progress and eventually be released is, is really very rewarding.